All right, here are solutions problem 66 off the math subject GRE practice test. Finally, the last problem. These videos took me forever. I uh, hope this ends up being useful to at least one person in their studies. So what we're told in this problem is that Z17 is the ring of integers mod 17, and what we're asked to do is consider the group of units of Z17 with our operation in this group being multiplication. And what we're asked is which of the following are generators of this group right here. Okay, so to be a generator of a group, what I need is I need to take that element and use the operation of the group with that element over and over again and eventually create every single element in that group. Another way of saying that is I need the order of the element to be the same as the order of the group. So it'd be useful to know the order of the group. Uh, what's the order of this group right here? Well, because 17 is a prime number, units, okay, so I guess I should define that first. A unit is an invertible element. So it's all of the numbers from 0 to 16 for which there exists some other number from 0 to 16, which when I multiply together those two numbers, I get as my answer 1 when I multiply them mod 17. Uh, so invertible elements. Uh, invertible elements, aka units, come anytime the element is relatively prime to um, the n. So in Z sub n, you the way you can figure out your units is it's all of the numbers that are relatively prime to n. So in Z17, my units will be all of the numbers that are relatively prime to 17. The nice thing about 17 is it's a prime number uh, because 17 is prime. Everything that could possibly be a unit is a unit. In other words, 1 through 16 are all units. So order of my group is 16. And that'll be really useful because if I could find an element whose order is 16, I'd be done. But if I could find an element whose order is 16, then, well, if I figure out which of these elements have order 16, then I'll know whether or not they're units. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, kind of annoying. The numbers get a little bit big. You know, you don't have a calculator for this, so this might be a lot of math to be doing in your head. Uh, but some of them you can eliminate pretty quickly. If you recognize that 16 is equivalent to 1 mod 17, no, that's not true at all, is equivalent to negative 1, sorry, uh, mod 17. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So I have order 2 for this guy. I don't have order 16. Therefore, this guy is not a generator of my group. So that tells me that this ain't the answer and that ain't the answer. So now I just got to figure out which of these guys have order 16. Well, you could do 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 5 to this, key and figure out what's the smallest integer that I can raise 5 to so that 5, so that that, uh, product is equal to 1 mod 17. Uh, but there's a couple of little shortcuts. The order of an element will always divide the order of the group. So the order of these elements is guaranteed to divide 16. So once I can get past 8, 8 is the largest number that's smaller than 16 that divides 16. So if I can show that the order of any of these elements is more than 8, then I know that that order must be 16. You could start messing with 8. a squared is 64, and that's already more than I want to do in my head. What's 64 equivalent to mod 17? I'm sure you could figure it out, but I don't really want to. So what I'd rather do is deal with the smaller number 5, and maybe that'll give me some information about 8. So let's deal with this smaller number 5. 5 squared is equal to 25, which is equivalent mod 17 to 8. Oh, how convenient. I get some information about 8 here. Um, 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And 40 equ is equivalent mod 17 to 6, because 17 times 2 is 34, and 40 minus 34 is 6. Uh, 5 times 6 is 30, and 30 mod 17 is equal to 13. But I don't really want to deal with 13s. That seems like a pain in the ass. So I'm again going to take advantage of the fact that 17 times 2 is 34, and I'm going to say that this guy is equivalent to negative 4. Uh, negative 4 times 5, I'm writing the order of these weird, but whatever. Negative 4 times 5 is equal to negative 20. And if I add 17 to that, I get negative 3. Uh, negative 3 times 5 is equal to negative 15. And if I add 17 to that, I'm up to 2. 
So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm up to six. I'm almost there. Uh, two times five is ten. Uh, ten times five is fifty. Which mod seventeen? Let's say if I subtract thirty-four from this guy, uh, I would get sixteen, which is really nice because sixteen is equivalent to negative one. So what I've just shown that 5 to the 8th power is equivalent mod 17 to negative 1. So it follows that 5 to the 16th power is equivalent mod 17 to positive 1. And furthermore, because the order of the element must divide the order of the group, I know that there are no positive integers between 8 and 16, so that uh, 5 to that power would be equal to positive 1. What I'm saying is that I know that the order of this element 5 is exactly 16, therefore five must be a generator. So I know that one is an answer and three is not an answer. Is that enough to finish this thing? Uh, yeah, it is, hey, how convenient. One is an answer, so that ain't my answer, and that ain't my answer, so I'm done with the problem. Uh, so I don't even have to go checking two, although I could check two if I wanted to. Uh, let's see, remember that five squared, so really I'm done and this is all bonus here, 5 squared was equivalent to 8, and 5 to the 16th power, aka 5 squared to the 8th power, is equivalent to 1, uh, because 5 to the 16th I just showed was 1. But 5 squared is 8, so really what I just said is 8 to the 8th power is equivalent to 1. Uh, does that mean that the order, what that means, is that the order of this element 8 is at most 8, and therefore it can't possibly be a generator uh, because it's not 16. I don't know that it's 8. Maybe, the, maybe I do know that it's 8 by some other logic. But I know that it is at most 8 just by this equation here. So therefore it's not a generator, which I didn't even need to figure out because once I looked at the options they gave me, looking at 1 and 3 was enough to deduce the answer. So I guess that's all I got.